Hey everybody, it's Julia from Just One More Card, and today I want to show you how I colored a digital stamp with my Copics. Um, I'm always on the lookout for new um, digital stamps, and um, the company um, or brand Kinda Cute, that's actually what it's called, uh, by I think it's Patricia Alvarez. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce the name right. Um, she has some gorgeous digital images that are just so much fun to color. And the good thing with digital images is, of course, that you can print them in any size that you want. Um, so I printed this one a little bit bigger, so I would have more, so it would be easier for me to color this image. Um, for the copy coloring that I'm doing, like everything that I've learned about copy coloring, like how to do it, how to use layers, apply shadows, etc., I've learned at Kid and Clouder, um, where El Elise is doing like amazing things. Like she's an amazing teacher. She has um, like start to finish classes. She has subscription courses, so you can start at whatever level you want. And she really takes you from zero to like professional coloring in almost no time. Of course, you still have to practice, um, but you, if you look at the stuff that I colored maybe like five years ago and how I'm coloring nowadays, you can see the progress that I've made and it's really all due to her. You can see that I'm working in layers, you know, I'm starting out with the darkest color, blending towards the lightest, and I'm just adding in some more um, color to increase the saturation and deepen up the shadows. And this is how I'm going to uh, progress throughout the entire image. Since I think um, it's best just to watch and see what I'm doing, I'm going to play some music for you until I'm done with the coloration.
I'm done and I used my brother's scan and cut machine to cut out this gorgeous image and now to put the card together I've already um, cut this border here from craft cardstock um, but before we're going to apply it I'm going to use a stencil from my favorite things and some distress ink to create my background and you can see that you know I mean I used to just create the stencil myself by cutting a few wavy lines into um, post-it tape um, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but I saw this stencil and I really liked it because it's just, there's just so much detail um, and it's so much easier to quickly create it. So that's why I bought the stencil. Um, I sprayed this with a mixture of perfect pearls and water simply to add some shimmer and shine to it. And then added copious amounts of foam tape to my colored image here. And I'm just um, putting it right on top of this panel. And then I'm putting the panel on my card base and that's it. That's it because I don't want to distract from the um, uh, from the coloration that I did. I put a lot of time and effort into it and I was quite happy with how it turned out. So I'm not putting anything else on, on, on the front of the card but only put the sentiment into the on the inside it says uh, wie die Zeit vergeht, how time runs or how time passes and I think that would make for a fun birthday card. And I'm going in with my white gel uh, marker here and I just realized I need a new one because it kind of dried up. Um, and I'm just adding some faux highlights to the balloons to increase the, the illusion of dimension. So here is the finished card with all the details that I've added with all the copy coloring that I did. I hope this inspired you to get out your markers or your pencils or your well, whatever your favorite coloring medium is and just give this a go. Also check out the images by Kinda Cute uh, Cards or Kinda Cute Stamps, sorry. Um, a link will be in the video description below and on my blog of course because they really have gorgeous images that are so much fun to color and Patricia, uh, Patricia provides great coloration examples in her shop so you can see how these images can really come to life. Thank you so much for watching today. As I said, I hope you got inspired. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. And I'd love it even more if you subscribe because I have many more videos to come. Thank you and see you again soon. Bye bye.